Gone but not forgotten. Dozens braved the cold and the snow this morning to honor the lives of those lost to the AIDS epidemic. The Indiana AIDS Memorial's new railings were dedicated today to a Hoosier who spent much of his life volunteering for the cause. Our Nico Panisi tells us how the community is remembering him. The names on that memorial are friends. In the very beginning in the gay community, your family, because you could not be gay, you all got together and became family. A series of limestone tablets carved with the names of those no longer with us stand proudly among the graves in the Crown Hill National Cemetery. For Kobe Palmer, the names represent the many loved ones he's lost to AIDS. I got to see it firsthand what the plague was called. On Saturday, dozens gathered at the Indiana AIDS Memorial to dedicate its new handrails in honor of the late Gary Allen Whitehead. Whitehead was a volunteer with the Indianapolis Bag Ladies, an organization that's raised money for HIV AIDS efforts for the last 40 years. But most importantly, Palmer says Whitehead was a friend. Ellen was full of life, always there. There was never a time that Ellen didn't help out. The Indiana AIDS Memorial was originally dedicated in 2000 and was the nation's first permanent AIDS memorial in a cemetery and only the second anywhere in the country. Stephen Everett with the Health Foundation of Greater Indianapolis says although HIV AIDS is no longer considered a death sentence, there's still a lot more work that needs to be done in ending the epidemic. It's very important to help people understand that we don't have a cure for HIV and this is a wonderful monument to uh, remind us that we can't forget those we've lost, those that are currently living with HIV, and there are many. Everett encourages you to get involved with their advocacy efforts. They can make a donation, they can learn more information, they can get involved, they can volunteer, not only for us, but in the many other organizations that we support all across the state of Indiana. In Indianapolis, Nico Panisi, WRTV. And if you would like to learn more about HIV and AIDS or you want information on how you can volunteer, you can visit this story on our website right now at WRTV.com.